hey guys welcome back so we've been on a series to create this entire ui design i did from adobe xd into a fully functional responsive website using wordpress and elementor page builder and in today's video we are going to be designing this part you see right here so i'll leave a link to the previous videos that contains all this tutorial and the free template as well because uh, as soon as i finish uh, making a video on how this is being done i always leave a link to download the template so if you want to get that please see this description below and you can get a link to download yours okay so with that being said we will be creating this whole section you see right here right now let's get into it okay so the first thing you want to do is create a section with just a single column i'm going to give this a padding top and bottom a hundred pixel padding top and bottom and then i'm just going to copy one of the heading right here and paste that in here okay i'm going to make it align to the center and let's just copy the text we see here paste and then we have some dummy content so let's grab that as well or let's just create us I'm going to change the star and then let's align it to the center. Okay, I think I need to give this text editor some padding left and right. Let's do 200 left and right. So let's make it 300. Okay, this is better. All right, now to achieve this slide, we'll see right here, this whole slide right here. To achieve this with the dot um, navigation, let's drag in an image carousel. Okay, this one right here. Now let's select our image. I already have mine listed here. So I'm just going to copy all this image and then paste it in and insert gallery. Okay, by default, it's going to look something like this. So this is not what we want. So the first thing I want to do is make the image full size. There you go. And then we have three slides again by default. And if you check our final design right here, we have four different sneakers here. So let's change the styling. Where it says slides to show, you want to make that four. That is all you need to do right there. And if you check now, as you can see, it is four four colors of sneakers all together showing at once and it is sliding through with the dot button okay so you might not really see but there is an arrow on the right and left side of this image and we don't want that we only we are only concerned about the dots here so where it says navigation just click on that and choose dots so automatically the arrows will be gone and you want to come down to the style tab right here and um the navigation the dots position is outside that is fine we're going to increase the size to we are okay with what we have i think eight works fine for me 
so now let's grab this color that we have here and then let's make use of that where it says color so as you can see it automatically changed the color and the active color is the red while the non-active um, tab here are just a kind of faded red okay so this is pretty much everything for this tab we've accomplished this let's see the mobile view and see how we can tweak things a bit okay first of all you want to remove the padding from this text editor let's do that right now now we have something like this okay so this is pretty much everything you need to do right here and as you can see it is still responsive on the mobile as well okay so this is all for this this um color section the color var variations now let's move to the design right here this is the design tab as it's shown up here in the nav menu we have the about features colors which we just concluded and then the design so this is the design tab right here so let's see how we can achieve this it's a little bit complicated so just try to you know follow along and you'll be able to do this with any design at all okay so let's see what we did first of all i'm going to create a section with two columns and in the second column i'm going to drag in an image just like that and the next thing i want to do is the column itself i'm going to click on that come down to the advanced and unlink the padding just before i do that you can see there is this white border around this um the image so as soon as i unlink the padding you can see it fills this that place up automatically and that is what we are trying to achieve and let's do that for the sec for the first column as well okay let's click on our image and change our image to what we'd like to use in my case this right here as you can see here so i'm just going to click on that and click insert okay the next thing i want to do is give this entire section a color so i'm going to click on it come down to star and let me copy the color here which is this color so i'm going to click on this color and copy it just like that and now i'm going to click on this background type i'm going to hit the classic tab and the color paste the color i just copied in there and as you can see it is like that okay so the next thing you want to do is in this column you know we've just colored the entire section now the first column let's click on that because as you can see right here it is a different color entirely so let's let's copy this color and then let's give it to this color right here so click on the column come down to the style tab and just repeat the same thing you did there where it says background type click on classic and then the color just paste that in and you get something like this let's see how it looks like okay as you can see this is almost what we are trying to achieve here so we're almost there guys but one thing i don't like is this page is almost filling up the entire screen which is not what we have and on the final design so let's see what we can do the first thing i would like to do is this second um the second column right here i will just um, reduce the column section to about 42 percent like that and then this one right here um, the first column let's see i think about um, this is just fine okay i think this is fine let's leave it at 58 so but what we want to do for this first column let's um give it a margin a margin left of 
about 150 pixel or oh, but but first before we do that let's drag in a text or for let's let's just copy our heading here let's copy this heading and paste it into the first column and then let's click on this column go down to the layout which is the first tab right here and vertical align let's put that to the middle just like that now let's click text and align that to the left so we get something like this okay so let's copy our text and change that okay okay so we've got our text now let's drag in a um a text editor let's just copy the one we already have right here and let's paste it in here okay so it appears exactly that way now if we take a look at it this is not what we actually want to achieve if you take a look at what we have here you see that it is completely different from what we are doing right here. So the first thing you want to do is what we were trying to do before, which is to come down to this column, this first column, go down to the advanced tab, unlink the margin, and give it a 150 margin left, 150 pixel, just like that. And as you can see, it pushed everything to the right so now for the text let's click on this heading and let's give the heading a negative margin of about 150 as well let's see let's unlink the margin um a negative margin uh, let's make it a negative margin left yeah of about 150 yes so this is what we get and then let's give it a padding right of about um let's say 150 as well okay so this is looking good so the same setting you give here the same um setting in the advanced that we give you let's apply that to our text right here as well so the first thing we gave it a negative margin of 150 and then a padding right of 150 as well so guys this is what we have in the final design and this is exactly what we have right here if you've been following along okay so if you've achieved this let's see how we can apply this to um you know the mobile version as well so the one thing you should have in mind is we don't need all these um stars in the mobile version so let's just see what we can do so originally it's going to be like this so the first thing i'd like to do is come down to this column and then unlink the margin so we have this and the next thing i want to give this margin a padding top of 50 and a padding bottom of 50 so it pushes everything that way and make all these text align to this center so what i want to do next is um the the heading i'm going to unlink the margin and then do the same thing for the text unlink the margin and unlink the padding and then i'm just gonna this section i'm just going to, going to give it a um a padding right of 10 pixel sorry padding left Let's make it a padding left of 10 pixels so it pushes it off this edge of the screen just like this and we have something like this automatically so this is it for this part guys as you can see everything is consistent let's let's preview it so this is what we get from the top this is our nav menu as you can see everything is pretty much 
responsive and well aligned okay guys now we've achieved this let's head back to the desktop version and um, let's see how we can quickly achieve this um, testimonials right here the unbiased review okay so the first thing I want to do is create a section with a single column and um, for this I'll just make use of an inner section and on the first column I'll just um, give that a padding a padding top and bottom of 100 pixel okay just like that and then I'm going to duplicate this the, the column inside the inner section I'm just going to duplicate one so it can be three just like that and I'm going to drag in uh, an SC testimonial okay yeah I'm going to drag in a testimonial not the image not the testimonial carousel just the testimonial tab um, widget itself so and then we have this so if you check here our uh, image is to the left and then followed by the, the name and the position so but right here our image is in the middle in fact everything is aligned to the middle so what you can just do is where it says alignments just click on the left tab right here and you get the same thing we have over there so the next thing to do is come down to uh, okay come down to the style tab and just where it says typography let's tweak that a bit for the content the content typography i'm going to choose montserrat as my it's already my default so i'm just going to click on that make sure it is montserrat and then i'm going to choose 16 pixel size so it appears that way i'm going to collapse this right now i think every other thing is fine and then the image I think the image size is, is already fine if you ask but um, let's just make that you know let's give it a 60 percent just like that um okay so for the name for the name everything is pretty much okay let's make sure it is also Montserrat and i'm just going to increase the weight of this to about 600 okay so it pops out more than others let's uh, yeah 600 is fine so for the title the title is also fine the way it is and the typography i'll make sure it is montserrat and then um, the weight is okay so the style is what i'm concerned about right here i want to make the style italic so it appears that way this is pretty much awesome guys so um since we already achieved this so what i'm just going to do is copy this right here and paste it into this column and then repeat the same thing here again the third column so we have this right here so this is pretty much what we have here guys if you take a good look at it okay so changing the image let me show you changing the image is pretty easy so as you can see if you click on the tab you come down to the content tab right here this is where you can choose your image so let's just let's just give this one um column an image let's choose this image right here or let's let's give it to the three the three column so you have an idea of what we are talking about is right here and then last one i'm gonna make it um this one right here so let me show you that um you don't have to if you don't know if you have no graphic design um knowledge or anything you don't have to start trying to see if you can make the image a circle stuff so because um you don't really need that actually as you can see this is not a, a circled image but as you, if i should insert that it's still in a circle that is because the element here is already circled the element here is already circled so you don't really need that right here 
so if you put any image at all just make sure the the face is in the center and you'll be able to achieve um what you are what you are going for so you don't necessarily have to make all the pictures circled because automatically when you apply it in here it will be circled so i just want to get that clear so some people don't start i'm um, trying to edit the image and trying to make it a circle format looking for tutorials to help them achieve that no you don't need to do that just put your image there and you will see for yourself that it is automatically in a circle okay so let's duplicate this to achieve the number of um um reviews we have here and let's see how this looks okay so i think i'll just have to push this um duplicated section this duplicated inner section i'll just have to push it down a little about um a margin top of um let's say 30 pixels should be fine yes 30 pixel is okay okay the first thing I've, i forgot to do is give it a title that's a heading right here so i'm just gonna paste in here let's see if that works well okay it takes it to the bottom so what i can do is drag it up like this okay just like that okay so now we have it at the top so we're just going to change to where it says on biased so i'm just trying to be fast so i don't take too much of our time as i'm just making some copy paste like that so it says on biased review let's make this okay capitalized okay so we are i i think we're going to push that to the you know the bottom give it a margin bottom of 30 as well okay this is better now let's preview our site on another tab and see what we've achieved so far okay guys so here we are on the live website and um as soon as i scroll down you can see everything we've been doing so far is actually what we have on our ui design with the adobe xd so as you can see this is pretty much everything we have so this is working perfectly well giving us the varieties of colors that we have right here and then we have this other tab which is this as you can see it's a little bit complicating to you know to achieve but we did that together guys okay and lastly we have this section which is the unbiased review okay so guys i think we have to end it here so i don't take too much time and on the next video i'll make sure we finish up everything else so we'll be making this newsletter for and then we'll be making the main section which is the purchase form of course this is what we are trying to achieve we want everyone to purchase the sneakers and that is why we are having a landing page um, for the product so this is a product showcase landing page and this is the essence which is for them to buy what we are selling so this is going to be fun to create because uh, we're going to make use of a little bit of css code in this particular section to you know to decorate this um, um button right here the next and the right button and then we're going to make you know as soon as they click on this they'll be able to buy this specific color and if they click on this they will see the next color and this button slides up as soon as this color changes the button slides up if they go to the left this but this color comes back you know just like that so they get the exact color they want and we'll be able to achieve all this if you stay tuned okay guys this is pretty much it we will also make the footer area when we make this section as well we'll do the footer area so we'll just finish up everything and then finally on the on the next video as well we are going to link all these tabs 
to their right um, section. So as soon as you click on the About tab, on the About um, menu, it takes you to this section right here. And as soon as you click on the Features, it takes you to this section. If you click on the Colors to this section and the Design to this section, you know, everything just takes you to the right section. So guys, this is pretty much everything you need to know. Um, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.